analysis allows you to make sense of the words and context in online text in order to understand how people feel about a topic or a company, or in our case, a group of research articles. So one way that you can perform topic analysis is to extract known good and bad words from a text and then score the overall sentiment of that text depending on how often good or bad words appear. You can visualize the distribution of sentiment in a group of texts as well, um, where things get really interesting and where you start to move into that realm of maybe computers are actually senti sentient, uh, is when you use programs like word to vec that allow you to turn words into numbers and then use statistical relationships between those words in, act in order to actually infer meaning in a way that a human would. It's pretty crazy what's possible. Today we're just going to focus on these two first more straightforward applications of sentiment analysis. So an example from the airline industry of sentiment analysis of Twitter data specifically uh, would be these three randomly selected tweets. So we see on the left a very positive mention of Delta Airlines in the middle, a fairly neutral mention. It's just somebody saying it's a beautiful day and I watched a plane take off from Delta. On the right we see a negative mention of somebody who is or was at the time unhappy with Delta's customer service. Um, in case you're worried about Brian here, he and Delta did work it out and they actually ended up helping him out. He got everything solved and actually had really positive things to say in the end about Delta. Uh, but at this moment that he tweeted, it was a very negative tweet, right? So it's easy for us as humans to read these three tweets and interpret positive, neutral, and negative sentiments about Delta Airlines specifically. We can think about applying sentiment analysis for all, uh, research in a very similar way. So you can use sentiment analysis on altmetric data in order to monitor the tenor of discussions that are happening around research articles and data sets and other works. Sentiment analysis.